From a one-on-one -on -one sit down to a working lunch, North Korean leader Kim Jong Un and U.S. President Donald Trump had many events planned for their day today, but their first summit in eight months was cut short when the two agreed to disagree. EG1 starts us off from Hanoi. The much anticipated second North Korea U.S. summit shattered everyone's expectations as the leaders walked out with no signing of a joint agreement. A little before 9 a.m. local time, the leaders once again met at the Sofitel Legend Metropole Hanoi for their one on one sit down. The discreet meeting lasted for 35 minutes, longer than the one that took place on the previous night. The leaders then briefly came outside for a surprise walk around the hotel gardens before they talked some more. At around 9.45, the leaders started their expanded meeting and everything appeared to be running smoothly. But even until noon, when the group was supposed to begin their working launch, the bilateral talks hadn't finished. Even after a 40-minute delay in schedule, White House spokesperson Sarah Sanders said negotiations will continue for another half an hour. In the meantime, there were reports that President Trump's press conference, initially scheduled after his meetings with Kim, would take place much earlier at 2 p.m. That was the time the White House had said the two leaders were going to sign their joint agreement. The news roused speculations that no deal would be signed, at least for today. And those worries soon became reality when the White House officially announced at around 1.30 p.m. local time that no agreement was reached and that it would have to be negotiated in future meetings. The White House spokesperson Sarah Sanders did point out that the two sides had very good and constructive meetings over the last two days, where the leaders discussed various ways to achieve progress on denuclearization and North Korea's economic development. But during his press conference at 2 p.m., President Trump said a major disagreement has surfaced on the matter of economic sanctions. He added the North wasn't willing to make commitments on denuclearization to Washington's satisfaction, but still wanted all the sanctions lifted. After fielding questions from the reporters for 40 minutes, President Donald Trump left Hanoi for 4 p.m. local time. It took eight months for the two leaders to meet again, but this time they're parting ways on a bit of a down note. And with President Trump saying that there are currently no plans for another summit with Kim, it's become difficult to forecast how denuclearization talks will unfold. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News, Hanoi.